What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have another WWE action figure set up for you guys, and it is TLC edition, but I do want to get into a couple things, guys. Uh, this week has been a week from hell for me and my family, so that is kind of why I'm uploading a little bit later today, and I do have a suggestion. Tomorrow's video actually is probably going to be another setup, but it is going to be a lot better. It's going to be epic, given what day it is. That's your little hint. But then on Saturday, I think I'm going to do my TLC predictions, given that Friday Night Smackdown will be happening tomorrow night and then we'll know all of the different matches which is kind of why this setup was kind of a struggle because we only have seven matches announced but I did my best for you guys. I tried to set it up and you know what? Uh, my mind has just been a piece of shit and also doing the setups will help us get Hell's Gate further along even more but as you guys know TLC is coming up on this Sunday and to be honest with you I'm not really looking forward to the show you know I mean there's only seven matches announced there's one or two matches here and there that I'm like yeah but I hate the gimmick pay-per-views you guys know the gimmick pay-per-views pay-per-views are just trash. Like, why do we need gimmick pay-per-views? Just give me Armageddon back for the end of the year. Bring back No Mercy. Bring back these other names for pay-per-views instead of just having TLC and Hell in a Cell and Elimination Chamber. I love those stipulations, but give them when they're needed. Use them when they're creatively needed in a feud instead of naming a whole pay-per-view out of it and giving us gimmick matches. But I just wanted to explain what was going on before we get into the setup, guys. We have TLC setup today, special setup tomorrow, TLC predictions, and then on Sunday, maybe I can do something special. But we'll have to see about that. But anyways, filming for Hell's Gate is coming along, and I'm trying to get it done as fast as possible. You guys know that. And I'm still aiming for the end of, de end of December. If it's not up by the end of December, it will be January 2020. But anyways, guys, let's just shut the hell up and get into the setup. So right here, you guys have been looking at it for quite a minute now, so let's just go ahead and knock it out of the park. You can see that Bray Wyatt, oh, his hand fell off of his mouth. What the hell? Let me, let me fix it. All right, I don't know when that fell, but there you go. Mandible Claw locked in tight on The Miz. You got the Blue Universal Championship chill right here and we know that the fiend is not taking on the Miz at least that's not what it says it says Bray Wyatt versus the Miz in a singles match no title apparently no stipulation just straight up singles match I don't really care for this but maybe this is like what we have to do to get the Miz to turn heel so what I'm expecting is for you guys know that you know that theory going online you know where people uh, when the fiend beats somebody uh, they end up flipping so he beat Seth Rollins he flipped to heel he beat Daniel Bryan he turned face he beat Finn Balor he turned heel so maybe that's that's what they're going to do here with the Miz turning him heel and maybe we can get a better looking Miz because I cannot stand babyface Miz guys. We need to get him out of there. Let's see. Let's get heel Miz back and get him on a good run. Maybe before John Morrison comes back. Maybe they can form a tag team. If we go just to the left guys you will see here we have this terrible feud on television going on with Bobby Trashley and I figured we should bury him in tables. I think Rusev and Bobby Lashley are going one on one in a tables match so you know Rusev has looked like a total cuck. He's looking like a jackass on, on WWE television so I figured why not have him overcome Bobby Trashley here in the setup. Have him dominate him. Bury him with tables. I don't have a Lana figure. I think I sold it like three years ago, and so I do need to get one of those, but Rusev had to stand tall. It's a happy Rusev day right there, as you can see on the t-shirt. Happy Rusev day to Rusev, as he has just gotten it on Bobby Trashley right here. Burying him in tables. I really like that shot right there. That looks epic, so I wanted to put Bobby Trashley in his place for this setup, and you know, just because just Rusev's look like just absolute dirt bag on TV, so had to, had to make him, you know, get a little revetal here in the setup. Next up, guys, you will see in the middle of the setup, we do have Aleister Black and Buddy Murphy going head-to-head -head here in the middle of the setup. And I will say, I cannot stand this feud. Uh, I, I don't like it. It's just made Aleister Black look very cringe and just lame. How Buddy Murphy goes and knocks on his door and then Aleister Black comes out and he looks both ways. He just looked like a jackass, man. He, he, I just don't like the way he's portrayed on TV. Um, but this match is going to be great. I think they're going to tear the house down. I cannot wait for this. Probably the match that I'm probably looking the most forward to at TLC is between Buddy Murphy and Aleister Black. So I'm hoping we just get a good football game out of it. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too, you know, out of this world. But I do expect a really good football, football, football game between these two guys. And uh, I'm excited for it. So Buddy, Buddy Murphy and Aleister Black, since there's no stipulation or anything, they're just kind of fighting in the backstage. And I, I didn't want to make them look cringeworthy or jackassery here in the setup. So I went with that. Over here to the right, guys, we do have Trash King Corbin getting speared through a table. And uh, he is getting speared through the table table by the big dog Roman Reigns and I expect uh, some sort of interference probably in their matchup maybe from Ziggler 
or, or somebody like that. I could totally see that happening at TLC and uh, I really just, every match and feud that Roman's been in since returning uh, last uh, spring has just not been very good. I mean, I understand it's like, you know, they wanted to cool him off and, you know, everybody would say, well, if he was getting pushed in main events, people would bitch about him, you know, being in main events. So now they're bitching. You would bitch either way, but I mean, I don't know. I didn't really mind him in the main event. It's just like him being forced down the throat, but um, you know, I, I, it is what it is, whatever. I guess defeating Trash Corbin here is fine with me. They've slowly built him up, winning feud after feud after feud, so I guess they're preparing him to take on The Fiend is what I would guess, possibly winning the Royal Rumble, but he's taking care of Trash Corbin. I don't like Trash Corbin. You guys know how I feel, so the king, the king of trash right here is getting speared through the table, so you know, tr Trash Corbin never comes uh, up good in the setups, so setups, pick feds, Trash Corbin just gets destroyed. I mean, that's just how it is. You hate to see it. And we come just to the left, guys. You will see a table tower right here. Two tables right here with Charlotte. And you will see that we have Kyrie Sane with her elbow coming off the ladder. And I know she looks stupid because she's supposed to be in midair coming down. At the end of the video, we are going to drop her on here. Hopefully, it breaks the table. If it doesn't, I'm going to have to smash it with my hand. So, uh, you know, her figure is pretty light. So, we'll just have to see if she can break the tables. But um, that's what that is in the thumbnail. I know that this was a part of the thumbnail. Is that's what I'm thinking, at least. And I'm going to have her jump off at the end of the setup, putting Charlotte through both tables. And we'll see how that goes. It's probably going to knock a bunch of shit over. But for now, Kyrie Sane coming off the top with the elbow, so I wanted to do that for the setup. I think it'll be pretty badassery. She's also rocking that tag title. If you can see, it's kind of blinded by the light there. But not only that, guys, we do have Asuka back here laid out on a table, and I wanted to have Asuka jumping off the ladder, ladder onto Becky, but I figured, nah, you might as well have one from one team, one from the other, because I do want the Kabuki Warriors to slam Becky Lynch and Charlotte. I do not want Becky Lynch and Charlotte to win the tag titles. Just wouldn't uh, fit what I'm thinking here, so I'm going to go Kabuki Warriors coming out on top at TLC. Even though I could see them putting the tag titles on Becky and Charlotte, I hope that's not the case, but uh, here we have Asuka laid out on the table with her tag title and Becky Lynch. Um, I thought this was pretty wicked right there. Have the title just hanging onto the ladder, and uh, she didn't even take her jacket off, Brad. She's just, you know what? F it. Coming off the top of the ladder, it doesn't matter uh, right through Asuka. So what we'll do is we'll do uh, Kyrie Sane's, and hopefully she doesn't knock all this shit over, and then we'll have Becky Lynch bail off onto Asuka with either a coffin drop or a leg drop or a leg drop onto Asuka and we'll see how that goes. So hopefully both of those break and uh, I don't know, maybe we'll just have, maybe that'll be a new thing at the end of the setups. We'll just destruct every damn thing. I don't know. But uh, finishing up our setup, guys, I don't know if you guys can see it, but we do have Xavier Woods put through a table here. SmackDown Live tag titles sitting on the ground because uh, the New Day got beat up by the Revival. So you have Scott Dawson right here, and then Dash Wilder is getting loaded up by Big E right there. I don't know if you guys can quite see it, but there it is uh, behind Charlotte there. And then we have Kofi on top of the storage unit about to bail off onto, onto Dawson there. So we have just a bunch of stuff going on here in the backstage area at the back. I know we do have another match announced. I think it's the Viking Raiders in an open open challenge for their Raw Tag Team Championships, and I really don't know who could answer that challenge. I know that the Street Profits answered one of them, and they got defeated on Monday Night Raw, so I guess we're going to see a new team, or maybe we'll get a different team. I'm not sure what they're thinking. Uh almost vomited. But I mean, that is pretty much the setup. We got Rusev over here looking nice. We got Bray Wyatt choking out the Miz. Uh, Black and Buddy Murphy going at it. We got the Trash King Corbin over here. I needed something for this space. I guess I could have put the New Day there, but I wanted to fill in that back portion. But again, tomorrow guys, we are going to have a new setup, and I hope you guys don't mind that. I think it's going to be a really epic one, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. And then we're going to have the TLC predictions so that maybe we can get all those matches in there to see what is announced for Friday Night SmackDown. And then Sunday, we'll see what goes on, but I'm going to go film some Hell's Gate, and uh, I appreciate you guys watching so very much. You know, we always, this is another thing, is we always do a pay-per-view setup every week of a pay-per-view. We always do an action figure setup for the week of a pay-per-view, you know, to the theme of the matches and stuff, and then we always do predictions, so uh, I needed something for Friday, but that Friday is special, so I figured, you know, we needed to do that, and I wanted to get that Hell's Gate Vindication Elite Championship up since it had been five, six days since the, the former one, but... I'm just going to shut the hell up and get the hell out of here. Before we get out of here, though, I am going to drop Kyrie Sane and Becky Lynch onto their respective people, and hopefully they break and uh, we don't have a mess, but let's go ahead and do that. Oh, Kyrie Sane coming off the top of the ladder, Brad, onto Charlotte Flair. Oh, my God, that was atrocious. She's not heavy enough, Brad. So what we're going to have to do is just stack this right here and then put Charlotte back right there, take the Kyrie Sane, Get the elbow all figured out. 
And then just... Kyrie Sane with the elbow through the table on the shot. God, Lee, that, that posed perfectly. That's beautiful. And it really didn't knock anything over. That's, that's pretty good. And then over here, Becky Lynch coming off. Oh, Brad, Becky Lynch up, up on top, on the top of the ladder, coming off with a huge leg drop onto Oscar, and she puts her through the table, Brad, oh my God. So there we go, both through the table, Miz through the table, and uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this destructive TLC setup. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video, gonna be very epic. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, my name is Toys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.